Hi, uh, my name is Sandhya Jetty. I'm a senior electrical engineer at Hyperloop One. We are a company based out in Los Angeles downtown. And I am um, a responsible engineer for one of the key components uh, for, uh, for delivering power to the electromagnetic systems. And um, Hyperloop, as some of you might have heard, uh, is a mode of transportation that moves people and cargo at very high speeds, uh, but uh, safely and efficiently. And we are, uh, Hyperloop is also an autonomous system uh, and it's a direct to destination. Um, so as you have, some of you know, like we all know uh, that uh, when we take airplanes, by the time you get to the air airport and from the airport to the destination, the time adds up. But if we uh, combine this uh, network connected to other transportation methods such as Uber, um, uh, it can all be connected and that saves time. So Hyperloop is not only building um, high-speed transportation system, it's also about saving time and connecting intercities, interregions, and thereby developing uh, infrastructure for uh, building jobs and so forth. I'm currently a responsible engineer for uh, designing a motor segment switch. Uh, so this is a high-speed um, um, alternating current switch. Uh, that can turn off megawatt of power in milliseconds. So this switch um, uh, comes into play in the propulsion power when um, so the, seg the, the stator is actually divided into segments and uh, we want all the available power to deliver to one segment when the pod is approaching that segment. So this switches act as really high speed on off switches. So the technology behind is it's a solid state semiconductor device based. So it's not a typical uh, vacuum contactor or a mechanical switch, which would wear off after 10,000 or 20,000 cycles. Uh, so you would have to replace it uh, basically, but with, an, with a solid state semiconductor device, you can use a switch many unlimited number of times if it is designed uh, properly in terms of um, uh, uh, with voltage transients and etc. Um, so yeah, we basically designed that switch uh, from scratch, from nothing, to a, a, a design, to building it and testing it and actually commissioning onto a test site in Las Vegas, Nevada. As a female engineer coming from India, um, I do uh, realize how much, how hard it is to make a decision to be an engineer or study engineering. Uh, but I would, uh, I always saw engineering as just any other field of study, um, right next to medicine or uh, arts or music. So uh, it has to be looked at that way. And then if you if you like building things and if you want to see something you have built in real life, engineering is for you. And uh, um, I would suggest not to look, it, look at it in a, in a much complicated way. So um, just take up the challenge and enjoy it.